Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today I am finally getting around to playing some Farming Sim 2022. <laughs> Now, a couple of awesome new things here on the channel. Obviously, we are playing Farming Sim 2022 today. Uh, we're going to be hopping into episode one of our Let's Play series, which I'm going to be releasing uh, every week, hopefully. I did make a uh, speed build for the farm that we're actually going to be playing on here in Farming Sim 2022. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go check out the uh, speed build for the farm that I built but obviously one of the main things you might have noticed behind me or well technically not behind me um, I now have a green screen uh, it's actually a blue screen because my merch uh, or my headphones and everything are green my shirt is green so I have to have a blue screen um, we've built the farm in the speed build uh, we've got all the machinery so let's go check out that first of all We've got ourselves a big old New Holland combine. It's got a seven-ish, seven and a half meter uh, bed. So it's not the smallest bed, uh, but it's also not the largest bed in the game. But I didn't want one of the, you know, the four meter working with. It's just a little bit too small for the size of the fields that we're going to be harvesting. Um, but for a start point, this combine, not too shabby. We've got ourselves um, a nice fence here. This is the Fent 722 Vario. Um, it's got the uh, the big old engine in there. Uh, this is about 250 horsepower, so it's quite a big tractor, but it is only in the medium class of tractor. Um, I've bought a weight for each of the tractors as well, and this actually has a loader attachment on the tractor as well, and I've bought a loader for it, so um, we, can, we can use the loader for moving uh, pallets around or whatever. Uh, we got ourselves a nice Rudolph tipping trailer. It says they're made by Rudolph. This is a mod as well, I believe. Um, we've got the Roland Bale trailer. I believe this is also a mod. It's part of a mod pack, actually, which you can download. Then we've got ourselves a nice class tractor. This is going to be our second tractor, the 870 Axion. Nice tractor. This is also in the medium class. Both tractors in the medium class. Again, got a weight on the front. This one doesn't have a loader attachment, but we don't need both tractors having a loader attachment. We got a nice little Pottinger uh, baler on there, just a nice simple round baler. Uh, we got ourselves a Coon uh, mower. Uh, it's just a little side uh, mower there. Uh, we've also got a Tedder back there and a windrower, all Coon. Um, harvesting equipment or, or hay time equipment i should say got ourselves a nice amazon seed drill it's a little bit bigger than uh, some of the standard seed drills i believe this one is a mod also i think it's about a four five meter working width and the cultivator is the same as well here uh, i believe this is also a mod i've used quite a lot of mods because some of the equipment in the game there's, there's not quite enough variation. It's early days for Farming Sim 22, so there's not a lot of mods out there at the moment. But I've downloaded every mod that is out there at the moment. And uh, finally, we've got ourselves a nice little Manitou here. A little uh, loading machine with my uh, private number plate on the back. Um, but I've got a bucket attachment for this. I've got a bale attachment and uh, pallet forks for it as well. And then uh, just walking around the farm, uh, we've got some of the equipment I talked about over here. This is a loader for the uh, fence. Uh, we've got our own workshop, so we can park here and uh, modify our vehicles. Uh, we've got a pressure washer as well. Um, there's one of these at the house as well. Um, we've got lights all around the farm, so when it turns night time, we can actually see um, whilst we're driving around the farm. I've got a nice uh, fertilizer tower here, so we can fill up with uh, till. 
And then uh, around the corner in the back here, I'm sure you've figured it out, is uh, we've got a nice bunker silo for our silage. We've also got a regular silo over here for all our grain, for all the corn and the wheat and the, uh, the barley and all the other crops. Uh, then we've got our animals over here. I believe this is the cow. Uh, no, this is the pig, sorry. Uh, which I haven't bought any pigs yet. We're going to have to save up for the pigs. Um, but we can access all areas of that. Uh, we've got the sheep over here. They've got a nice little hilly field. I figured sheep like a little bit of a hill. So uh, I've modified the terrain a little bit over here. And then we've got chickens here. And they've also got a little grassy area. And then this is the cows over here. And uh, just like I showed in the uh, speed build, you can actually open the doors here. So you can shut these and open them. And we can drive the tractor in here and tip stuff and walk the cows out and stuff. Uh, so this is uh, the entire map, in case you're wondering. We've got a nice forestry area over here. Plenty of big fields around. We've got a river that runs like sort of through the middle of the map, which is nice. And then our farm is just here. So I've already shown you around the farm. But then we own all the fields around the farm here. So we've got fields 40, 41, 42, uh, 38 and 39. And uh, the shop actually, in case you're wondering, is only here. So this is the farm. And this is the shop here, so it's just literally around the corner. So I figured this was probably the best uh, starting location. But uh, I think we should go ahead and uh, actually mow the lawn first, because I'm dying to have a go with this little lawnmower over here. I believe this is returning from uh, Farming Sim 13 or Farming Sim 15. I, I don't know whether it was in 15. It's definitely in Farming Sim 13 um years and years ago um and this i think is actually a mod that someone has has ported it over from farming sim 13 to farming sim 22 so uh, let's have a little go with this thing i'm gonna have to move the pickup around i think because it's gonna be in the way all right here we go with our little amazon lawnmower i didn't know amazon actually made lawnmowers it's a profi hopper amazon profi hopper it does 12 miles an hour apparently it doesn't do 12 miles an hour it does eight miles an hour so i'm guessing it was 12 kilometers an hour um but let's have a little go with this thing i don't know where we're going to dump the grass i guess in the silo but we want to turn on the mower it's going to lower that down and then we should be able to just yeah there we go we can just go along and mow the lawn nicely it's, uh, it's a little bit long at the moment it doesn't seem to be picking it up which is a little bit annoying i think it's just dropping it all on the floor um but we've got quite a big garden so i'll go ahead and uh, speed this up on the camera and uh we'll be back in a minute That is the lawn mown. Uh, we've got a nice flat lawn around our house now. 
let's go ahead and put the mower back away. This is not really what you guys came here to see me mowing a lawn. You came here to see some farming. So let's go and hop into one of the tractors and check out what we've got to do in the fields. I believe this is uh, potatoes. Is this not potatoes? It's grown in rows. Um, I, th I think it's potatoes. So, I do not have any potato harvesting equipment. I don't have anything to remove the foliage. So, what we're going to do is you can rent equipment in Farming Sim. If you've not seen any Farming Sim gameplay for a while, uh, you can actually rent equipment. You don't always have to buy it. So let's go to the shop here. This is the shop, uh, very similar layout to uh, previous farming sim games. So we can rent one of these big machines and that's going to cut the tops off and harvest the potatoes at the same time. So instead of having a separate machine to remove the tops, it's going to do it all in one go. So uh, let's have a look how much leasing would be. It would be 30 thirty thousand euros not too bad considering the cost of the machine is nearly 600 grand and i've only got 600 grand in the bank okay so i've got the big potato harvesting machine i've done a little test run it's picked up a few potatoes there so we're going to set off a worker doing the potatoes and i'm going to drive alongside with our rudolph uh, tipping trailer and uh, we're gonna have to figure out somewhere to tip these potatoes because you can't tip them in the silo so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to tip the potatoes just for now and I think we're gonna end up putting them in the garden of our house um, but I'll try and find a better place than that but let's go ahead and set this guy off and we will quickly hop into the class and drive alongside and hopefully whoops lost a few spuds there but there we go we are filling up with potatoes so this is going to be our first lot of crop um, that we can actually sell okay so we've done a couple of passes in uh, with with the uh, potato harvesting machine he's gonna keep going up and down um, you see where I dumped it by the silo not the best place to dump it uh, I think what I might do is uh, actually buy a shed so we can dump it in there let's actually go and do that right now so if we go to the sheds where is sheds uh, we go to construction and we go to buildings sheds let's just find a smaller shed than that we don't want anything too massive that's also a little bit big that's way too big something like that that will do absolutely perfect yeah i dumped the potatoes just there not really the ideal place to put them now we're gonna have to find somewhere to put this shed that's not going to be in the way Okay, I have bought the shed. I've put it right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump the rest of the potatoes in here. And the potatoes that I dumped over here prematurely, I will go ahead and uh, manage to them in there. So all potatoes are there nice and tidy. So let's go and do that right now. I've also noticed my worker has almost got a full tank, 80%. So we'll probably have to go empty that in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and scoop up most of these there we go that's a full bucket and then we can go up to this shed that we just built up here and uh, the ground looks pretty nice and level around it I was worried it might create a little bit of a dip but it looks pretty solid actually and then let's just go ahead and dump those in there I really can't wait until they add the No Collisions mod to this game. It hasn't been added yet, but it will get added at some point. And as soon as it does, I will download it. I probably shouldn't have just dumped those where I did. I was just trying to 
be fast, I guess. I don't really know what I was thinking, to be honest. I should have just gone ahead and... Uh, ooh, there goes the train in the background. I don't know if all the potatoes are actually going to uh, fit in this shed, because it's a big field. Why is it saying this action cannot be performed here? I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll leave this parked up just next to this building for now, because we might have to move some potatoes later. So we'll leave that there. Let's hop back in the class. There it is. And we'll go unload this guy. He's actually got quite a few strips done already. So maybe this field won't take as long as I thought. I think we need to be closer than that. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult judging how close you need to be. There we go, and um, he's going to dump them all. You can see uh, there's like a little storage area there that's decreasing. And um, so, you know, they, they have a small storage capacity. Whoops. Um, but, you know, they can't store potatoes indefinitely. There's, there's no way, as you've seen, that they could store this whole field. But, uh, you know, Whilst we're running around with the money to, it can hold a few potatoes, it can do a few rows on its own. Uh, so that is almost going to be a full trailer load there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and dump this in the shed. What we're going to have to do is uh, put them there and then with the money to shovel the potatoes into the building. Okay, and there we go. We've sorted out all those potatoes. I have a feeling our uh, little worker friend is going to be full already. So we'll just leave that there. Let's ju jump back in the Axion and uh, we'll go take a look. I guess he's over. Where is he at? Oh, he's over there. No, he's still going at the moment. We'll let him finish his strip and then. Uh, We'll go collect the potatoes and we'll probably start cultivating as well um, so we can get the next crop in the ground already. Let's go ahead and lower this bad boy down. And there we go. We're already removing the harvested ground, you can see there. Uh, all the potato shrapnel that's been left on the field. We're going to remove that, then we're going to go ahead and fertilize the field and then get the crops in ready for harvesting, probably in the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of strips up here. I'm going to keep unloading the harvester until we've got this field done. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my so I've been going for a little while, um, I've got the field pretty much finished over here, um, we've got it cultivated, I'm just doing the last couple of strips myself with the potato machine, one because I thought I'd show it off to you guys, we've not really seen much gameplay of this thing, um, it's just been a worker driving it the whole time, uh, but also because I had to do these last couple of strips, um, it was a little bit annoying. Um, it's kind of at a funny angle as you can see to the rest of the field and the worker kept going all wrong and crashing into these trees over here so I thought the last couple of strips I can just do that by myself and you guys can get to watch it as well I guess uh, but we'll just line ourselves up for this last strip over here there we go I think we're just going to fill this machine up. Uh, the shed now is uh, pretty much full of potatoes. So uh, we'll go and have a look at that in a second. But we'll just finish up this strip here. But we'll just let that unload. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and 
open up the garage menu here. Uh, there it is, the leased items. We'll select that and return that item to the shop because we did lease that machine. And there we go, that has gone back to the shop now. But here we go. What I've been doing is dumping it next to the shed. And then with the uh, money to is just loading it into the shed. You can see there I've already got a big pile that I was working on. So we'll go ahead and just tip this next to that pile. A nice Rudolph tipping trailer. I'm going to go ahead and load the rest of the potatoes into the shed and then um, at some point we'll go ahead and sell these. I need to find out where we can sell potatoes to. Um, but for the time being we can just leave them sat in the shed. They're not going to get destroyed or anything like they would in real life. So that's good. We don't need to worry about that. But I'll do this. I'll see you guys in a minute once it's finished. On my own, but I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't realize I won't look back when you're around. I won't think twice when you're gone. Don't hesitate to call me back. Well, there we go. We have. Uh... Put all the potatoes in the shed near enough um, I can't quite fit them all into the shed properly so um, I apologize for these few potatoes that are sticking out the front here but I can't seem to get them to fall down here it's just the sort of physics in farming sim just don't allow that but um, we got most of the potatoes in the shed it's better than having them out in the open there is a bit of an overhang on this shed anyway so it's gonna keep the potatoes dry but I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We've gone ahead and uh, mown the lawn. We've uh, harvested that field over there and cultivated it ready for um, fertilizing, tilling, and, uh, and, and planting up probably in the next episode. And uh, we've got a shed full of potatoes to sell as well. And then uh, over there we've got a field full of sunflowers. We've got some other crop over there. I'm not sure what's actually growing in there. But I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 1 of my Farming Sim 22 Let's Play. I'm going to be releasing one of these hopefully every week for you. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed and you can tune in next week. But thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you then. Oh, <laughs>